brothers and sisters welcome to this new episode of Sunday with the word of God we begin in walking God's presence in our midst in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen the first reading is taken from the book of Zechariah thus says the Lord Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you, a just savior is he. Meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the fall of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim, and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim the peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Response, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all His works. Response, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let your words give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful one bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Response, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. Response, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The second reading was taken from the book of Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal body's life also through His Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh for if you live according to the flesh you will die but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body you will live the word of the lord thanks be to god The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father. Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. 
all things have been handed over to me by my father no one knows the son except the father and no one knows the father except the son and anyone to whom the son wishes to reveal him come to me all you who labor and are burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for your sins for my yoke is easy and my burden light the good news of our lord jesus christ praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters in christ every christian believer is invited to live a life in the spirit according to saint paul in his letter to the romans the one who lives in the spirit lives in jesus and the one who does it lives in the flesh how do i know whether i live in the spirit or in the flesh the gospel today jesus tells his disciples come to me all who labor and burden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for your sins for my yoke is easy and my burden light this is a beautiful invitation from jesus take my yoke upon you what does it mean when jesus says take my yoke upon you he is saying take my world view upon you take my will upon yourselves and live in my world view and live under my yoke and that's what it means by to live a life in the spirit and if you want to know if you are living in the spirit not in the flesh you have to ask yourself are you walking under the yoke of jesus are you walking in his world view and in his plans and if you walk under the yoke of christ you will be walking in the spirit if not you will be living in the flesh often times those who struggle with sin and life in the flesh tend to say i'm going to resist this for the rest of my life i'm not going for confession i'm going to resist i'll listen to this if you spend time just resisting the evil in your life you will never get around the way to overcome flesh and sin is not to just simply resist the way to overcome flesh is to walk in the spirit it is to walk according to god's will and plan and to take his yoke upon yourself and to walk as a disciple and this is the way to freedom are you ready to take up his yoke upon yourself
God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through Christ our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition, in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Roach, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and bless all your families and fill your lives with the joy, peace, hope and love in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes.
Give thanks to the Lord.